Good morning, boys and girls. So yesterday, we finished my second page. Before we get a new piece, we've got to look at our checklist. So since I added my words yesterday, I'm gonna look at my five-star writing chart to make sure that my writing looks like it's supposed to look. All right, so first, is my first letter of the sentence capitalized? Yes, the A is capitalized. Finger spaces. Hmm, Arizona, finger space has, finger space, snakes. Yes, I have finger spaces. Is it neat? What do you think? Is that neat? I think so. I can read it. I have no flying letters. They're not smashed together. My letters are not touching each other. Yeah, looks pretty neat to me. And does it make sense? Let me read it. Arizona has snakes. Yeah, it's telling about my topic, Arizona, and something that it has, snakes. Arizona has snakes. The second thing we need to look at is when we are done, we have just begun. Now I know this looks a little shiny to you because it's laminated, so you can't really read it, but I'm gonna tell you what it says. The first part is add to your picture. Well, I have three snakes already. I could add the ground because they're, right now it kind of looks like they're flying in the air, right? So I could add the ground like this. I can put a line here. Yep. And that can be dirt. If I want, I can color that in with a color pencil or a crayon. I don't want to do it with marker because if I try to do it with marker, I might color over my snakes and then I won't have my detail there. So, hmm, I added the floor so now they don't look like they're flying. Is there anything else I should add to make it look better or to help my reader understand what I'm writing about? I don't think so. I think. I think that's good. So add to my words. Do I have my words? Arizona has snakes. I do have my words, and I'm gonna leave it like that for now because I want my readers to concentrate on the detail, and my detail is that Arizona has snakes. So my next step is to start a new piece. So a new page, here we come. First, before I start my new page, I want to show you my third detail. So I did plants in Arizona, animals in Arizona, and my third thing I told you about was places. Now, every state in the United States has a nickname. So Hawaii is the rainbow state. There's a lot of rainbows here, right? And they're beautiful. So you don't see that in other states, most other states. So we are the rainbow state. Arizona is the Grand Canyon state. That's because in Arizona, there's the Grand Canyon. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever heard about the Grand Canyon. So I'm gonna show you a picture of the Grand Canyon and then I'm gonna show you a specific place in the Grand Canyon that I'm gonna write about, All right? Let's do that. All right, places in Arizona. This is a picture of the Grand Canyon. Pretty much a Grand Canyon is a big hole in the earth, a, cran a canyon, okay? It goes way deep, so you'd be walking along and then there would just be whoosh, okay? Big hole in the earth. The Grand Canyon is grand because it's the biggest one. It's one of the wonders of the world. So nobody really knows how it happened. Nobody knows why there's this big space in the earth like that. So here are the people and they're looking down into the canyon. It's pretty cool. If you've ever have the chance to go, you should see it. It's amazing. But nobody really knows how it happened, which makes it really cool and makes it one of the wonders of the world. So this is in Arizona, but there's different things inside the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is a big place. 
lots of people backpack there. They go on hikes there. My husband's done it several times. He loves hiking the Grand Canyon. But his favorite place to go, which I have not been yet, is Havasupai Falls, okay? So inside the Grand Canyon, one of the places, there is a tribe, Havasupai, okay? And there, there are waterfalls. So I'm gonna show you a picture. I know that sounds crazy, right? Arizona Grand Canyon waterfalls, gorgeous. So I'm gonna show you. Whoops. This is Havasupai Falls. Gorgeous, clear blue water. Yep, you see that? Red rock, red dirt. <laughs> And it's a hike. So the hike down and then back up at the end um, is, from what I understand, the worst part. And then you walk through washes. It's about 12 miles there and then 12 miles back. You pack in, pack out. So there's a bunch of waterfalls though. And some of them are kind of hard to get to, all right? You kind of have to scale what is called boulder. It's called bouldering. Sometimes they have a rope and you have to just like attach yourself to the side of the mountain and get, get by. But there's different waterfalls you can go to, all in Havasupai. You have to make reservations. That means you have to call uh, the people and say, you know, next year, because you have to do it a year in advance, I would like to go hiking there. And they schedule you in. Yeah, because only a certain amount of people can go there throughout a year. They limit how many people get to go there because they don't want it to get really messed up. You know how when you see rubbish on the floor at your favorite beach, it's kind of sad, right? Because people don't always show respect like they should. So they limit the amount of people that get to go there. Actually, there was this big thing with Beyonce recently. I don't know if you know this, but she recorded this video there, you know, the Queen Beyonce. And she, I don't know how much money she gave them. I mean, she's worth a lot of money, so it's probably a lot of money. But they canceled all the reservations for like two weeks so she could record a music video there. Lots of people were very upset because backpacking gear is expensive. <laughs> and they made these reservations a year in advance. So they were very upset with Beyonce. Anyways, you don't really need to know that. I'm just jabbering now, but this is Havasu Pie Falls, and that's what I'm gonna write about. To me, this is one of the most beautiful places in Arizona. I love the red rock there when you go up north. The red rock is just, it's breathtaking. And then the combination of the waterfalls, red rock and the blue-green water, wow. You don't think of that when you think Arizona, but this is actually there. So that's what I'm going to draw a picture of. So now I'm gonna start my drawing. My third detail, place. I am going to draw a picture of one of those waterfalls. So first, I'm gonna draw a straight line like this. Not so straight, but. And then, Lines, like there's water coming down, right? A waterfall. But there are waterfalls all the way coming down. Different areas. And then into like a lagoon. Right, this was all blue. What do you think? Huh? I tried my best. Okay. So to me, that's what it looks like. Or that's what I think it looks like. So I have my waterfalls. Now, what's the next step? Do you know? I did my drawing. What do I do now? 
label. I have to label. So this is of Havasu Pie Falls. So Havasu Pie Falls. That's two words. So let's do Havasu Pie. Let's look for the first sound. Havasu Pie. Like horse. H. So I'm gonna put H. But it isn't just have a soup pie, it's have a soup pie falls, right? It's the waterfalls. So I'm gonna put the first letter of the next word too, falls. So let's say it slowly. Falls. Falls. Like flower or feather. Have a soup pie falls. All right, we're almost done with the book. Tomorrow we will look over our checklist and we will finish up the third page. All right, see you tomorrow.